Let me do the talking. We don't want to scare these folks. Someone's having fun in there. You too. Get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Micah, hide behind that wagon. Arthur, you take that old shed on the left and stay low, both of them. Arthur, get in position. Come on. Arthur, take cover in that shed over there. Hello? Shut up, Billy. Shh. Excuse me. Hello? Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying on the trail. Arthur, we got a problem. Oh. <laughs> Look, there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur. need some... There's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, buddy. Now, friend. Yeah! Look out! There's more to pay! Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. O'Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. One Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Huh. Oh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. The place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. Oh, I'm stuck. 
starving. Well, you should eat something now. Get your strength up for the ride back. Keep searching while I pack these on the horses. Meet me out here when you're done. Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Southwest of here, near the lake. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Uh, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. Now, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. No, she ain't, Michael. Look at her. Miss, miss. Yes. Are you...
Come on. It'll be okay. We need to get out of here and quick. Come on now. Oh. <laughs> you okay, miss? They came three days ago. And my husband, they... <laughs> okay. Miss, you are safe now. And you can't stay here. Come with us. Arthur. Yes. It's okay. Uh, we're bad men. We ain't them. So, uh, it's okay. Uh, get on. Uh, we'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. It's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Micah found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Colm O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently. Scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is, but we found... Some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan? We put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... The situation were reversed, and he'd look for me. Thank you. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Some 
smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well... Seems somebody left. Recently. And... That way. Sure, well, come on then. There's some tracks leading to the river. Get him! And there's Basio. Let's cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? Ah. We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Take it slow. Big ravine here. Dutch killed a girl in a bad way. But it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. The tracks go left, down here. Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. snow here. Uh, I don't know about this, Javier. We can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Almost there, boy. Come on, now. Hey, look. Over there. You see that? Let's see if he can hear us. Come on! Up there! further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I'd grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? You getting that gun then?
Grab your shotgun. Come on. Down this way. Because you can, come on. Stay with me, Arthur. Careful here. You sure about this? Over here! It's coming from this way. Okay. Yet that we're high up here. You're telling me. Careful, there's a drop here. Watch out here. Watch your head here. You're gonna have to move a bit faster. Okay, good now. Watch your step. This is real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up this way. Gap here. Over here. That sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. How you doing? I'm miserable. Been a tough few days. I know. Here. Take a drink of this. Thanks. I'm not designed for this snow. Let's keep moving then. Come on. Can you hear me? Marsh 
Can you hear me? John! John! I'm here! Out on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! Down here! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. <clears throat> Freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight? Can't argue with you there. See? I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. Uh, I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? Perfect. I'll distract him while you get to the horse. Go! Draw them off. Okay, here we go, John. We'll leave them to Arthur. Oh. <laughs> We're getting you out of here. Right here! I saw them off us, Arthur. Get away from me! Keep them away from us! <laughs> Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. <sighs> Knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died an hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Get the hell out of here! 
Some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. All right, here we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas. Uh, it's his leg. Uh, oh, come on, let's get you warm. Uh, Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Uh, Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, and we wait. When the storm breaks, we move. But we're safe here. Warm enough. I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck. But then the storm covered our tracks, so now we wait a bit, and we go back to Blackwater, and we get our money, or we get some more money, and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Hosea.
We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. And if needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found nothing. Enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something to eat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving would be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. All right, let's head out. Yeah. How are you holding up, Charles? I'm okay, apart from this hand. Stupid mistake. Still bad? It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way. Find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. I ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, bringing John back in. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that, just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. <laughs>